Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited about this video because I finally, finally, finally made it out to the one and only Costco store here in New Zealand. I know there are talks that other stores might pop up, but you know what, at the moment we only have only one store and that's in Auckland. We came up to Auckland for our church's annual conference and a little holiday, so we decided to head to Costco. So in this video, I'll share the products that we saw and some info that you will find helpful if you come to visit. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is to enter a Costco store, you need a Costco membership. You can do this in person, but to save time, you can do it online and then get your membership verified before you enter the store. As soon as you walked in, there was Christmas stuff. I know it's just the start of October, but they had Christmas stuff. There was not a whole lot of stuff just there yet, so I'm guessing it might arrive. So I just kind of like had a look through, couldn't really compare the pricing on it because you know we do have different options such as Kmart or Warehouse, which might have it cheaper when it comes to Christmas things, but it was quite nice to see a good variety and a different style of stuff here. So in Costco, you can pretty much find everything. So there was groceries, clothing, uh, you know, toiletries stuff. There was technology stuff. I know Costco in the States sells uh, coffins even, but apparently they did have them here, but they removed them because it was not really going. They also do have sell tires and they had lots of pretty Dis Disney dress up uh, dresses as well, which was really, really cute. I was really tempted to get this candle set, the three candles, uh, it came in a pack of three and it smelled great but you know I just decided to put it away because I had to fit it in my checked in luggage. I also love storage containers especially glass ones and they had an option in a box. Also how cute is this uh, tea set? It has a teapot and some teacups. It was really cute. The second thing to keep in mind when you're planning your trip to Costco is the time at which you come. Highly recommend that you come first thing in the morning or something like that, not like how we did at one o'clock and it was a Saturday, so it was so busy and it was like a madhouse. I mean, everybody was there doing the same thing like us, checking out every single product, you know, stocking up on things, so it's really, really busy. Isn't this uh, platter bowl really cute? All right, one thing that you must buy when you come to Costco is their cinnamon swirls and guess what I did? I bought a tray and I chucked it into my carry-on and we brought it on the plane from Auckland to Wellington. Another must-buy from the bakery section at Costco are their muffins. I mean, they are huge. Like, you can cut this into two or four pieces and it'll still be huge. So, highly recommend. I saw a lot of people stocking up on these because they will freeze really well. It was really nice to see the pumpkin uh, pie there. I really wish it was close to Thanksgiving because I would have brought that back to Wellington too. They also had a custard tart. So, it was definitely an American vibe. So, do check out their bakery section if you love freshly made goods and they also had these you know ready-made cakes that you can pick up for birthdays and things and um, it was really nice and of course that whole area smelled amazing So I've lived in the US uh, for a few years. I studied there, worked there, and before I moved here to New Zealand, so I'm kind of familiar with Costco or even Sam's Club that they've got there, where you do need a membership to get in. And so it was really nice to walk through this store. You know, it did bring back memories of living in the US. Some of the products were familiar. I was really happy to get a hold of a few things that I wanted to buy. And it was also quite nice to see some products that get featured on Instagram or in you know, a YouTube shorts or YouTube videos and things like that. So. Uh, they had naan bread and different types of tortillas, rotis, chapatis, and things like that. They also have fruit and veg, as you just saw in that quick little clip, and meat. I did notice, I think they had a really good deal on beef mince because it was absolutely sold out and empty by the time I got here. But almost every single person who was checking out had that. Another great product at Costco are the rotisserie chickens, which are made fresh and they smelled delicious. I mean, like we wish we were living in Auckland because we wanted to take one home and I highly recommend it. And I think it was just less than $10. 
Now, another great thing which I really wish New Zealand supermarkets stocked are these party packs that you can buy if you're hosting people or for gathering at home, whether it's like family or friends. And like, look at the sushi platter. Like, our daughter wanted to take it. They had different types of salads, sandwiches, lasagna or pasta bake type things, chicken that you can just reheat or pop it into the oven or just serve just as fresh. And it's just perfect. It takes away the stress from all the party planning. They also had a few sample stalls set up where you can try their edible products. And this is an American cereal. And I also thought this was really cute. It'll be perfect for a kid's birthday party or afternoon tea. Gourmet marshmallows. I mean, look at how pretty it looks like. So they have this whole section of fridge or freezer items. Uh, like this is waffles. They also had samosas, curry puffs, things that you can quickly make up for a gathering at home or for your afternoon tea. Then we tried the spring roll pancake and our daughter, you know, she said, oh, this looks like, you know, tastes like a paratha. And she's like, no, this is a pancake, but it, it was pretty much like a paratha. I really like these packs that they had and kind of reminded me of living in the US where you kind of like chuck this over your stovetop or in your microwave and you have dinner ready really quickly. We checked out the toilet paper aisle. Um, not sure if we found a good deal in comparison to our current supermarket. Then we walked through the drinks aisle and they had a, quite a few options like this kombucha box and a few other American style drinks. So we kind of like checked them out as we walked out. Of course, we didn't shop for them because we don't live in Auckland. Maple syrup. This is the kind of maple syrup that I'm reminded of. I also got this almond butter and it was yum. So I've been using it on my toast. They also had some familiar New Zealand uh, cereal like Nutrigrain and things like that. Um, again, this was another aisle that we just kind of walked through. My husband commented that there were a few good deals in the cereal aisle. I know I'm talking quite a bit in this video as I'm sharing all that I know and picked up from our visit to Costco, but I wanna hear from you. If you are a Costco shopper or if you have been to the Auckland Costco or regularly shop at the Auckland Costco and have some recommendations of food or toiletries or how to look for deals and things like that, I would love to hear from you. So don't forget to pop those down in the comment section below because I think they'll be helpful, not just to me, but anyone who's gonna be watching this video. Also, if any of the products that I'm showing in this video are standing out to you as something that you have tried or you want to try or you have tried and you just don't want to recommend to anyone, do let me know in the comment section below. One thing that my daughter and I really wanted to try is this cookie dough. I think it was a birthday cake flavor, which you can eat raw or bake, and it's sold in the freezer section. If you've tried it, I would love to know. Like, is this yummy? I just really, really want to know because I might have to get it the next time that we go. All right, durian fans, check out what they've got here at Costco. So one of the things that I love about Costco and I really wish they do open a store here in Wellington because I see myself going there like every couple of months just to stock up on snacks and things. Just the quantity in which it comes. You know, it's just not like 50 grams or 30 grams or 100 grams, but it's massive. So just talking to other moms who have been to Costco, the one thing that I picked up is it's really nice for them to go in and stock up on things because it's going to be there for several months, especially snacks for your kids or any other food stuff or even like you know laundry detergent and things like that so you can buy huge quantities and that way you can you know buy other things in your regular grocery shop but a few things are already taken care of all right this particular aisle my daughter was like oh this is your favorite aisle you know because they have all sorts of things like check out this one cream hot cream peppers and then they had stuffed peppers and all of that if it was not in a glass jar it would have been added to the cart but I didn't want to bring this in our luggage and have it break and burst all over the place. All right, I think I've shown you quite a few aisles here at Costco, and this particular aisle is the multivitamins and supplements aisle. The brands are all American and not very familiar, uh, so I'm not going to recommend anything. I did check anything from this aisle, um, and so we kind of like just walked through and checked out the different prices. So they had a whole aisle of multivitamins, and then the next section they had like protein powder and things like that. So it was a it was a nice experience just to kind of like walk through and see the different. One of the things that I really wanted to check out on our trip this time were the boxes of nuts that they sell. Very American size and style, 
but the price comparison my husband felt that it was not like we we're going to save a whole lot of money if we bought them at costco and we compare it to our regular supermarket we picked up this bag of milk chocolate pretzels and they were really good now peanut m ms these remind me of mr bean you know the one movie that he did where he worked in an art museum or something like that do you know which movie i'm talking about we also grabbed these little bliss ball things and they are delicious and they're tiny so perfect size for lunch boxes or for a quick snack if you love pretzels you can get a little bucket of it here at costco all right, here are a couple more options of the nut boxes. So this is a paleo mix and right there in the back is a box of mixed nuts. And to the side on the right is a box of pub mix stuff as well. So it depends. I mean, like this one is like $36.98. Now, if you have had anyone visit the US, they always come back with these box of Hershey's chocolates. Not a huge favorite uh, in our house, but you know, I just had to record it for the fun of it. So in Costco, we found that besides American products, they had a lot of Asian-y type products. And you know, we picked up a few things. I did check out these coconut wafers. They looked really cute. Again, another great lunchbox idea. I ended up grabbing these coconut rolls. They came in two different flavors, but, and they are nice. The kids have tried them and they do recommend it. I also grabbed this trail mix crackers and it is delicious. It's just absolutely yummy. So our son wanted to buy this box of hundreds and thousands but i did not add it into the cart and uh, they also have a small section for toys and books and here's a, just a few little shots of it any cheese ball fans out there i did find them here at costco check out this toy dyson i mean if you have a child who likes you know, vacuuming that's really cute i love this platter and i did check out all of the uh, serveware and the kitchenware didn't really do a whole lot of cost comparison. Of course, you know, our go-to here in New Zealand is usually Briscoe's. You can also go check out Farmers as well. So I've seen these bento lunch boxes on Instagram and I wanted to check them out in person to see if it'll suit my kids' ages. Comes in a pack of two, good quality for $60. I really wish they sold them in a pack of like pink and blue instead of just of the same color. You can also find a 14 pack Sistema container. I'm a huge fan of Sistema, so it was really nice to see that. Did you know you can also buy toilets here in Costco? So you can get that, or if you wanted to get a little toilet stool, you can come and find that here in Costco. I thought this card game bundle for just $65 would make a great Christmas present. So if you're looking uh, for present ideas, you can find this here at Costco. They also have a little book section along with the toy section all together. Just a bunch of variety of books that our kids did check out. They were familiar with some of the authors and they were not. I'm not sure if they'll expand further, but you know, they had some really good, I really liked the whole uh, selection that they had because you can get the whole um, series and stuff like that. They also had a few options of cookbooks and things. I had to walk around Costco and even ask a staff member for help to find this, but I was so happy that I got my hands on a jar of more than just a bagel seasoning. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. It's great on eggs and avocado and pretty much everything. And now check out the size of this coconut oil jar. So after spending over an hour in Costco checking out every, every single product, we even walked through some aisles twice and it was time to check out. Like we were there for a really long time. The kids were getting tired. They had a great time checking out all the different products, but it was time to go home. But guess what? No Costco experience is complete without buying their pizza or their hot dog. And the hot dog deal, if you can see the price on the screen, is just $1.99 for an American hot dog and soda and check out this pizza it was just delicious just to look at it and there were like tons of people there waiting we had ordered food as well i also recommend their mango smoothie that was really really good and you know we waited for our food didn't take long it was just like a really well set up machine literally like the ordering system so it worked out really well they also had the ketchup mustard and relish uh, station and check out this onion machine we're just slicing it out you don't find these here in New Zealand. So it was just quite exciting, very interesting for a daughter. She wanted to try the hot dog 
And so she went for it. She put all the toppings on it and she... And I think it's time for me to end this video. I really hope you enjoyed this you know, walk through Costco and you got some ideas if you're planning to check it out. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you made it thus far, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. And if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. All right, I'll see you all next week with a brand new video. And now enjoy this little short footage of this delicious cinnamon scroll which is just yummy if you heat it through and it goes great with a cup of coffee all right guys i'll see you all next week goodbye